Hello ladies, hello ladies, hello ladies. I am here to do my infamous wash day video. Um, as you can see, I have oil stains all over my shirt. My hair is not per se wet, but it's oils and mostly the oils coming through. I just pre-pooed my hair. And um, as you can see, the big oil stain, <laughs> that's actually oil. I do use a con the Tresemme Naturals conditioner as a base, and then I just pour a bunch of oils in it, mostly grapeseed oil and tea tree oil and peppermint oil is, um, is what the base of um, my pre-poo is, and then I pour you know, like a little bit because my jars, my bottles of those are smaller. Like I will put a little bit of Jamaican black castor oil in it, jojoba oil, avocado oil, but my bottles are small. Whereas my grapeseed oil, um, I have a very large bottle and the tea tree and peppermint oils, you don't need a whole lot. But um, I will um, pre-poo most likely overnight. I don't think I'm going to wash this out tonight. I normally do pre-poo overnight. And I just put, you know, I take extra shopping bags when I go shopping, which I stay at the grocery store. So I just take a few. Every time I go, I take a few shopping bags and shove them in my bag. So I will put two of these on my head, then my scarf. I, my son do have a basketball game in a little while. So I will just throw on my hat. You know, just pin my hair up, put my bags on, my scarf, and throw my hat on. That's what I would do. And then in the morning, I would get up and do my wash routine, which I don't know if I'm going to use the yes to carrots. Probably not because it doesn't, my hair, my scalp is not as inflamed as it was, but that stuff is just like tangling my hair so much. So if anything, maybe I'll use the conditioner and not the shampoo. I'm going to shampoo with um, my Bow Beam uh, bar, the probably the Rasool Clay, just because I want to. I want to clarify my scalp. I'm not sure. Um, I also. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use my Bow Beam shampoo bar or if I'm gonna use my um, As I Am co-wash and cleanser when I went to I went to the store on um, Saturday yeah it was Saturday after Thanksgiving this past Saturday and I went to Sally's because I had to you know get some pick up some Christmas stuff from you know my daughter and she needed some more Jamaican black castor oil and I figured, you know, with my hair, I have been trying these different shampoos and bars and they just have not been working out for me. And that's not good for my hair because it gets really tangled. And then I have a lot of shed hair, you know, and probably more so breakage and all of that stuff. So I just probably need to go back to what I know works for me, which the As I Am cleansing products, the, the cleansing pudding, which I do like and the co-wash and cleansing um the co-wash and cleanser um which i liked as well and that's what i was using before i got into all of the products i probably just need to go back to using what was working for me when it comes to cleansing my hair and i also love the bow bean bars um those bars so far i've used several times and they have not done me wrong so Sorry, I'm leaning back at my chair. So those will be probably the um, most likely from here on in the um, the cleansers that I will be using on my hair to clean my hair for the most part. Um, yeah. So also what I will be using as well, because I can't wait to try it. Um, I did use it on my son's hair. Is the Bass Condensed Custard, and this is a buttercream, and it smells so good. And as you can see, I used a little bit on my son's hair because I wanted to see how I like it. 
It's the Muscovado Pecan. This is seven ounces. Um, I love the way this smells. Um, and so do my son. I actually used the, sorry to go off our track, but I actually used the, um, the whipped custard on his skin this morning and he was just sniffing himself to death. <laughs> he said to me, mommy, um, when I go to school, is all of my classmates and the teachers going to say I smell good? I said, probably. I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully he ain't go to school telling people to smell him because I swear he was sniffing himself on the way. I mean, I was like, okay, cut it out. <laughs> but anywho, I'm going to use the bass um, pudding buttercream. Um, when I first got this, I thought it was a butter until I started reading the ingredients and it has water in it. So it's actually a buttercream. It's not a butter. I'm going to, you know, I got to try out my Basque products. I'm going to seal with the Java bean and honey hair balm. I can't wait to try this. And I'm going to deep condition. I'm going to try something new. Um, I'm trying to get the benefits of both because last week I skipped using my Bass Cacao Bark. Um, that really has, I believe, helped with my shedding. Um, I tried the Cacao Bark because Fire Opal 94, hey girl, she um, said that that is one of her holy grails. She normally, if she missed using that, is only maybe a week because she suffers with shedding as well. Um, and I missed, I noticed just in the two weeks back to back that I have been using it. And I normally deep have been deep conditioning overnight with it. Um, I will not be, I don't think, I'm not sure. It all depends on when I rinse out my pre-poo because Sunday I have to go to church. Um, if I just decide to leave my scarf on and throw on my beanie, then I will deep condition overnight and then come home from church Sunday and do my hair. I'm not sure. I, um, as I said, it all depends on when I rinse out the pre poo I do like to deep condition um, overnight just to give my hair the maximum. And I believe because I was deep conditioned overnight with the cacao bark, that's why, because I really only used the cacao bark two weeks back to back in a row. I used it three times but I used it the first time when I got it and then I didn't use it anymore for about a month um, until my shedding started to get really excessive. So that's when I went back to it and used it two weeks in a row. Um, as I said, I deep conditioned overnight, you know, for long periods of times, 11, 12 hours, opposed to an hour or two hours. So I'm thinking maybe that's why it helped with my shedding so quickly. Or maybe it's just good like that where you don't need to deep condition for that long for it to start taking effect really fast. I'm not sure. That's just how I have been using it. So um, I clearly big time see a reduction since using the cacao bark um, in my shedding and other people have commented on how much less of the shedding they see as well because I do show you my shedded hair um, that I have from when I detangle during my pre pool you know, when I detangle, when I deep condition or after when I'm styling. I will show you those in steps and then put it together and show you how much all together um, I have shed it for the week. So I'm thinking of, back to the point at hand, um, I'm thinking of because I missed my week with my cacao bark last week, but I love the way the Heritage Hydration uh, Honey Hash had my hair so soft and moisturized and manageable. I'm thinking about mixing the two. Um, I do have enough for one application left of the cacao bark um, before I have to use my new ones that I just got. Um, so I'm thinking of just taking that and some of the 
heritage hydration, honey hash conditioner, and just mixing it up in the bass container um, that I have of the little bit that's left and putting it through my hair. You can bask, does, does mix well with everything from what I've been told. So I think that's what I'm gonna do because I really like the, um, the benefits that the Heritage Hydration Honey Hash Conditioner gave me. I loved it. I love the smell, but I also know that for right now, because I am having shedding problems, I cannot stray too far from the Bass Cacao Bark. <laughs> I do know that or else I may start to get the excess, excessive shedding. And the difference in the two conditioners is that the Cacao Bark is a conditioning treatment. It's totally different from a deep conditioner. The Heritage Hydration is just a regular, it's meant to be a rinse out, but it works. It seems like, well, I only know one person that used it and that's Ty. And she said from the start that it didn't work well for her as a rinse out, but she loved it as a deep conditioner and everybody's hair is different. So I thought that I would try it as a rinse out. It did not work well for me as a rinse out, but I absolutely loved it as a deep conditioner. Um, and as you know, if you saw my video from Thanksgiving day, it was in my hair for about 11 hours because I just did not have time to do my hair. But I absolutely love the benefits. Even when I took my hair down from my twist, I was still able, my hair was still manageable. If it wasn't for my dandruff, um, I probably could have just like re-spritzed my hair with some water or um, her leave-in um, punch detangler, um, not detangler, but her leave-in punch that I used on Monday. Um, to re-moisturize my hair and just to wet it a little bit and sealed it and retwisted it back. My hair, it was still manageable. I was still able to, you know, kind of like just run my fingers through it, not like, you know, clear, but it was still manageable. And my hair has not, especially when it's time for me to wash my hair, my hair is never that manageable. Um, when it's time for me to wash my hair. And it was clearly because my hair was starting to get dull. It looked like it needed to either be refreshed or washed. And again, with my dandruff and itchy scalp, I need to wash every week. Um, it's been nine days since I last washed my hair. And normally I don't let it go over seven to eight but um, it wasn't doing bad, actually. Um, the yes to carrots may have, you know, helped tone down the inflammation of my scalp some. I was getting a little itchiness here or there, but I just can't deal with the, with the tangle. So again, I probably will just use the conditioner because that has the um, ingredients in it that's supposed to help with the flakes and the itchy scalp as well. So opposed to using both, I'll just use the conditioner. The conditioner was pretty nice and moisturizing. It wasn't as drying on my hair. And then I will go over it with my um, either Tresemme Naturals or my um, Desert Essence Coconut. I only have like maybe one in it, one full one and a half of one left. I did not get because I ordered so much other stuff. I didn't go on Vitacost and order anymore, which I need to do this month because I really do like the Desert Essence Coconut as my rinse out. But I did find like five of the Tresemme Naturals. Um, old formula in Ulta. So I will suggest going and looking into your um, Ulta, local Ulta um, stores to see if, because they even had the, the, the shampoo as well, but I didn't need the shampoo. I never used the shampoo. Um, and they have five left and I bought all five of them because my daughter uses it as her, her deep conditioner as well. 
Um, she just uses it as her conditioner, period. She de con she steams her hair, so she puts the, the Tresemme Naturals on and then sit under the steamer. So, um, and I use it as my pre-poo base. So I will be checking Ulta from, you know, when I go in there to see if they have any more because I will just keep buying them and buying them until I can't find them anymore. So I, I will either use because I don't have a whole lot of my desert essence left I will either use that too as my rinse out or my Tresemme Naturals as my rinse out um, either or they're both good as rinse out and then I will do my mixture my little experimental combination mixture of my deep conditioning hair treatment and deep conditioner and put it in my hair and, you know, my regular leave-in is Texture Me Natural Moisture Therapy Conditioner. Um, I will use the condensed custard, buttercream. I'm not sure if I will use anything else on top of it. I may just use it by itself and then seal with this um, java bean and honey just to see how my hair do opposed to layering. Normally I will layer my products, um, but I'm not sure yet. So I will see, I will show it, I will do a vid and show you everything that I use in the end and you know how, you know, my hair is. So that is it, I'm rambling right about now. This is going on 17 minutes and I need to start getting ready for my son's basketball game. So this is my hair also. Um, I'm supposed to do another length check on December 14th. Um, I may come back and do a length check after I do my hair. It may be tomorrow. It may be Sunday. I'm not too sure. It all depends on when I wash, when I rinse out my deep conditioner and twist up my hair when I do it, but I may do it a little bit earlier than the 14th because the last one I did was earlier. Um, it was supposed to be November 22nd, but I did it a few days earlier than November 22nd. Um, I don't think between now and December 14th, my hair probably will not grow any much longer than what it is if it grew any any longer. But I'm just interested to see and I will share with you again for my new subscribers who did not watch that length video, length check video. Um, all of the length checks from October, November to this check in December. Um, so yeah, um, so that will be it. I'm still in, in Diva Debs protective style hair challenge um as i told you before because of my scalp flare up i stopped doing the greenhouse effect challenge it's probably been about a month now since i stopped doing it but um once my scalp issues clear up i will give it a try again because i did like it you know um it did make my hair moisturized um so I don't know about the growth, you know, thing, but I like, you know, I always could use moisture because I'm low porosity. So, yeah, so that is it. Enough of talking your air off. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. Please give me the thumbs up and leave your comments in the box below. Peace out.